professional record. Six victories and only one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, the Silas Striker, representing Novosibir's Russia, Kiri Svechislav Popki. And your referee charge, Lukas Basowski. So Lukas Basowski will take charge of this middleweight contest. Look at the tail of the tape. Magomed Gas Razul Gasanov, 10 and 2, 25 years of age. Height and reach between these Red. two. Red. Exactly Red. the same. Vladislav Babkin with his second performance here in the ACA cage. So, Babkin in the white shorts and red corner taking on Gasanov. Red shorts and blue corner. It really is a, a stylistic matchup. The powerful striking of Babkin taking on that elite grappling, that wrestling that saw him claim the uh, Berkut Young Eagles middleweight title of Gasanov. See Gavin with each other. Uses his range, a bit of a range find here, poking out the jab. Trying to get this good, good little movement here, not staying too still. Always switched on, but Gasson, if you look back at the performances, that six fight win streak he is on. A lot of it starts similarly, very patient, keeps the distance, keeps the range, uses the cage well. And then when you try and make something happen, that's when he counters off of it for those takedown attempts. And just look how athletically built that man is. Yeah, he definitely, I'm saying, he has a big pressure in the cage. Once he gets hold of you, you definitely feel that yeah. athletic. Yeah. You see back in, even with that front kick coming up the middle, he's throwing a lot of power on these shots. He wants that respect early. by submission, uses that round and pound from the, uh, the top position to finish his opponents. And you look at the, uh, the wins of Bavin, five of his six wins are by knockout. That just says it all, but all of his losses, Brad, are by fingers, submission. Yes. Fingers, what's your fingers? Yeah, I mean, like, I believe we look at that as well, he's only ever been to the second round as well. So, the, you know, yeah, most of his finishes have been first round finishes, he's had one in the second round, and like I say, all, all knockouts. Yeah, Young Eagles is something that has become sort of a fever league to ACA now. There's a lot of talent in those regions, those southern regions of Russia, Dagestan, Chechnya, Ossetia. A lot of the young fighters are going to that show, they're testing themselves there, and this is the proof. Six fight win streak coming from Gasanov. And he's worked his way up via that title onto the, uh, the big show here in St. Petersburg. Oh, right hand just misses by Gassanov. Sorry, Brad. Yeah, also they're yeah, making it to it right now. Man, it's a big show at a big stage. Uh, uh, PM starts performing, moves up the rankings pretty quick. Got, I think, you know, we're back and coming here now. That's just, you know, that devastating kind of upset he did with uh, uh, Santos. If uh, Gaston could come in and take away that, that sort of, uh, that sort of sells, you know, take away his sort of um, momentum. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I've got some words in my bag down here, Brad. Cheers, mate. Whenever yeah, you need one, just grab it, okay? Right. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to take, <laughs> take his momentum back, uh, and like people would be taking by him. He goes, close this is here now, now. First time the man has got hold of each other. Big struggle here. Yes, yeah. You saw Babkin fighting hard not to get taken to the mat. But you could see the strength and the technique there from uh, Gasanov. Yeah, I mean, we always talk about his position. He's not, he's not just uh, uh, strength. He was also, also his technique. Uh, he made that take down. He's hard. And look at the urgency at which he worked his way back there. Wasn't allowing Gasanov to trap those arms, trap those limbs. Now getting his back to the cage. I think Gasanov has got his wrist trapped. Yeah, so I'm looking at him. He's got his wrist trapped behind his back. Oh, he's let it go now. So this, is, this is a real battle in this fight because this could be the uh, decider as far as if Babkin can get back to his feet, yeah. negate that wrestling, make Gasanov work so hard for those takedowns but not get any payoff. He's going back for that wrist control. He's done really well. What I'm impressed with uh, Gasanov what he did there. He, he, did that. he took away the bases. Was that it? Hey, was it? As Babkin was trying to use the cage and build up some frames, he took away those frames, got him back down. Now he's got a cross wrist position. This is one of my favorite positions right now for ground and pound. It's a devastating position again. Oh, 
can't post, can you? Because he's got that arm that's closest to the mat, and that's the important one to try and get back to the cage, right? Yeah, I mean, that's all that you can see the hand now that's got that he's stuck there. Right? Look, look at the way he's got it as well. He's almost got his hand turned around, so his, his thumbs completely covering that, so it makes it harder to break. Yeah, that's what, that's what you do across the course. He's got it out now. He has to use it. You lose a lot of energy. Just, just have it now he's giving up his back here. He's got to be careful. So I think the, the, the end of the buzzer. This round's going to save him here. Oh, and he's looking. Oh, oh, oh. But we we talked about it in, in the build-up. This is the fighting style. This is the blueprint that Magomed Razul uses every single time. He's very patient. Uh, he was happy just to keep circling, keep the respect for the power for Babkin for three minutes of that fight. Then when he got the clip, it's a different world. A different, whole different world. Different world game. Okay. You, you saw Babkin did, did the best he could to draw fight on that first takedown. But it, what did I say? It wasn't just the strength. It was a beautiful technique. Uh, the, uh, Gaston of Gordon got him down, but you saw Badkin do the right thing, trying to use the cage to get back up. But it's just brilliant uh, uh, by Magnum Razul, just taking away his uh, frames. Every time he tried to post up, he took it away. And then when he got that uh, cross wrist position, that's where you saw a bit, a bit of a come back. You see the cross wrist You can't really do much to defend that. You put a little hand there, but these punches are going to close. And we will see this second round come here. Come in on this middleweight contest at AC8103. Deep breaths from Babkin, then just watching him get back to his stool. He's now felt the prowess, the wrestling, the grappling prowess of Magomed Razul. Very important that he doesn't get caught or taken down early, and he imposes himself a little on the feet here, Brad. Yeah, I would say he needs to come out okay. strong. Round two. And for a bit of heat, you can just see him taking a few deep breaths. Uh, I don't know if he's going to have that in a gas tank. I mean, he might want another like 30 to 40 seconds recovery. That might be a bit too late. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Babkin, white shorts, red corner, Magomed Razul Gazanov, red shorts, blue corner. And what I have seen from the strike in the Babkin is he's worked that body a fair bit. You can see some welts on either side of the ribcage there of uh, Magomed Razul. Kicks and punches coming out. Oh. Big go around, right? Almost got counted on the entry though, Brad. Yeah, that was a bit wild. Maybe he's seen something because Babkin looking very, very tired. And now Magomed Razul up against the cage. This is his favourite position for a takedown. And just turning that corner, effortless breath. Yeah, I think that's what it was. He's one of his big overhand runs just to try and close a bit of distance to get into where he wants to be right here now. And he managed to get into the cage, got his hands back to the ground. Matt was second, and this is where we are. And now he has four minutes to work. Four minutes indeed, and we already saw big deep breaths from Babkin. And this is a miserable spot to be under this early, especially the base that... Just the width of the back of that man right? Raising yeah. that pressure down on you. He does a very good job of like, using his body weight very well. Yeah, you down. Down. Oh, now you see him trapping arms, he's taking a good well, back to well, 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 that to push and just try and create a bit of space. What's the bottom head? What's the bottom head? Back of the head there. And again he's holding on to that, that wrist, this time the overhand. And that can help, as you point out, only been in the second round once before in his career. This is a whole different test on your cardio. He's going to back here. Oh, Magomed Razul trying to set this rear naked choke up. He's trouble here, that's sinking in a little bit here. Across, that's on the chin. Can Magomed Razul claim victory here at ACA 103? He's got to try and fight the top hand, Brian. What good intelligence though from Magomed Razul. Not overcommitting to that and sticking to the position rather than the submission. Yeah, he didn't have no hooks in it. I think he was just from around the chin uh, and not under the chin. So he was using a bit of energy. Yeah, again, going back to here, take away those frames, going for the cross wrist. Try to split the legs, maybe. This is such a good position. That's not just punching down. Put the body weight on him. Short knee going in there. Oh, another one. He's got to watch that. Oh, yeah. It's just one thing now. What he's trying to do is he's trying to beat him up, back him a bit off now. Forget about his neck and try and go back. Two minutes left to work. 
And this is just showing the level and when we talk about stepping up and really proving a point as, a, as far as debut goes Gasanov really lived, living up to his billing yeah Gasanov looking phenomenal yeah, on. Just, just a master glass oh, oh and that's under the chin Brad. now one hooks in he's, he's got that he's trying to set this up he sets the hooks and now looking for that palm to palm finish Magomed Razul Gasanov let's it go oh Babkin escapes. Listen to the crowds. Massive pops the back. He was in a lot of trouble then. I think mean, Gasnov had finally had to get his hands locked together here and he didn't have his hooks in, which allowed Babkin to hop out. Very resilient show here by Babkin. Superb stuff from the fighter from Novos Sibirsk. And now back to his feet, Brad. All heart. There was plenty of opportunities for uh, an exit there. There was many doors he could have taken to just end this pain. Yeah, but that is not Babkin at all, is it? Not at all. Shows a lot, a lot of heart. So a lot of other fighters would have quit under this sort of pressure. And that's the key word there, Brad. Pressure. It's all pressure from Magomed Razul. Yeah, uh, got the takedown with two minutes to go in round number one. This one with four minutes to go, and it's been a miserable four minutes for Babkin, but. The fact he did uh, get up to that submission and then got back to his feet, that tells you a lot about your manners if you're a coach in a corner. Yeah, but now you think he's fighting the rest of his round, which I believe he will do. He's got to go back to the round of thinking. He's not even two rounds down. He's got to be maybe a 10 8 round down as well. So he's going to come out in the third and final round where he's going to be new territory for him as well. Go in the third round. He's going to come out here and try and finish this fight. And there we have a deep breath as Babkin makes his way to his feet. The corner there of Magomed Razul Gasanov. There's nothing to change with that, is there? I mean, maybe get the take down <laughs> within five minutes to go. Yeah. But uh, as far as what they've seen from their young fighter, very uh, impressive. Uh, I think also it's not Russian thing. He, he, he's, I say, being very, very calm because they're not over forcing certain positions. Sometimes the force positions can lose it. He's doing a very good job of. And like I say, he's in control of this fight at the moment. Badkin needs to try and do something uh, amazing to try and turn the tide. I've seen these little things happen before, but he needs, but he needs to do it you know, early on. This happened before. He's caused one major, major upset with the victory against Bruno Santos at ACA 97. He certainly has the power. But can he make that opportunity? We will find out third and final round here at ACA 103 in St. Petersburg. Page closes. Five minutes, as you said. Round three. Vladislav Babkin to turn the tide on this fight. Babkin, red corner. Magomed Razul Gasanov, blue corner. Yeah, but now we're not even going to talk about the technical side of things. It's more like a gas tank now. So what does Babkin even have in his tank to be able to put out Gasanov? And Gasanov still, look at him, he looks very light on his feet. Yeah. So fresh, and we talked about how athletically built he is, but you can just see the hard work that he puts in in the gym, really paying off here. Also, also, like I say, with his technique, he's very efficient, so he's not using much energy when he's on top. Technically, he's using this all rest. He's like beating up and by resting on that as well, so this is why he looks still so fresh in this third round. Yeah, this is sometimes you want to see from certain fires, but when you're so far ahead, you know, let's not coast it. Let's not Oh, Babkin, Babkin caught yeah. the leg, looks for the take and came up with a left hook, which actually connected with Gasanov, but Gasanov throwing one back himself. Yeah, and then straight away I thought, yeah, he's going to take this to the mat where, where he's definitely done and comfortable. But now like I say, I was got interrupted by them two throwing bombs. <laughs> but um, this is where I want to see like a fight like this. Now, so far ahead, let's not coast this round, let's try and put, put him away because I believe he has the ability to do so. Again, all of his ground game is based about controlling a limb, a post, and in particular those wrists. Before he does anything, he, he takes one of your defending arms away from you. 
What he's doing, Brian, which is just fantastic to watch it, he's not just grappling, he's beating you up in positions. Any positions, even now, he's holding your body lock, he's kneeing your, kneeing your back, he's kneeing your glutes. Uh, and then when, when he gets around to the side, he holds one of your arms and he punches you. He's not just grappling you out here, he's fantastic what I call MMA grappling, where he's actually beating you up in every position, which is so suffocating for you to be uh, under that sort of pressure. Suffocating is exactly how it feels for bad No rest, no air, no respite. Every single move he makes. And look at the positional understanding, the awareness from uh, Gassanov. This, for me, one of, one of the most impressive debuts in uh, I've seen on the ACA. Uh, indeed, Brian, indeed. I've been very impressed with him. Like I said, this guy has got a long way with this uh, vision. He's a gun back today. He's just like not, non stop, non stop punching, non stop uh, knee in. Look at that, even that step in the knee over there, control, he's not forcing anything either, isn't it? When there's an opening, there, when there's movement, he makes something of it. Yeah, he, he's always one step ahead, ahead of you, he knows, in this sort of position, when I'm in this, he's been in these positions a thousand times again, you can see this, so he knows which way the opponent's going to move, and he's always one step ahead. He must be like, he must play chess as well, I believe. <laughs> well, I wouldn't play him, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> I'd rather play chess than, move than uh, fight. Short shots coming in, Babkin throwing from there, but... Yeah, Babkin not really in a good position here to move, don't they? But it shows you tremendous sort of heart to just stay in there and try and get another little glimpse of uh, an opportunity to throw some bombs. 25 seconds left in this middleweight contest. And Gassanov, the Eagles champion. Looking like unless something huge happens on the side of Babkin, to, he'll extend his win streak to seven. And now oh, oh, the finish. Yeah, again, he had a little bit, but he's just silent, you know. We're going to carry on beating him up. I don't know if, if that's him just being a bit, being a bit torturous and a bit mean. You know? I think it's just great fight IQ. The risk versus reward at the minute. He's not gassing, he's doing the fighting at his pace, he's in total control. And yeah, you could try for that, but at the minute, he's, there's, there's no answers from Babkin. Now he's looking to reset that up. Yeah, give him props to Babkin, though. A lot of fighters really quit. Oh, oh yeah. that's under the chest. That's oh, right now, that's deeper. Can he get it, Magomed Rizul? What a debut this has been. Can he get the finish? No, he beat us to be. He chose not to, he chose to put his hooks in, so he didn't have a really great position. Uh, he just, like, he, he feel, I feel like he's, he's letting them go to carry on beating them up. Listen, I don't know if Vitelli Babkin said something to him in the weigh-ins, but there's a smile from the uh, corner of Magomed Rizal Gassanov. This is our first time witnessing this young man live. But also, there's a finish bonus you can get in as well. So. That's true, that is true. What a debut from that young man. Very, very impressive, Brian, very impressive. Smiles and I mean, he's broken a sweat, but he's barely di breathing deeply, Brad. That's that's the thing, when you have that sort of dominant sort of control there, and you're controlling the whole pace of the fight the whole time, Good. he's not wearing in your gas tank at all. And you look over the back, and he looks like he's fought three different people in the same night. He, 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 he looks exhausted. And what a t let's give credit to Babkin as well. How tough is that young man? Yeah, I mean, he's in a like, lot of box. dangerous position. And was, like I said, there's a lot of doors where he could have exited to get out of that cage. Yeah, a lesser fire would have 100% quit at some point now, under that sort of pressure. And we look back at some of the action. Talk us through this, Brad. This position is so familiar throughout the third round in particular, but throughout the fight as well. You see here, uh, as he's punching, he's done it throughout the fight, but he was controlling one wrist there, uh, and then hit him with the other hand, and he, then he will control you with two hands, and you start needing your, your, your thigh or your glute. And, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's a beautiful performance. Well, he has announced himself here. And now we need to announce him as the winner. So to do that, we will hand it to the man in the middle, Mr. Alexander Zargorski. Ladies and gentlemen, after the end of action, we go to the Georgia scorecards. All Georgias are in agreement, scoring the same 30 to 26. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Magomed Rasul Kassana Maheshkala.
Russia. And that is a debut that will be noticed by a number of middleweights. The matchmakers as well, they will be licking their lips at the potential matchups for this young man. He's announced himself on this stage and I talked to you about it with the first fight. One thing you look for your fighter, especially when they're making this stuff up, is how do they handle that pressure? Every single question answered there, Brad. Uh, indeed, the only thing I could ever probably take away with this, if I was one of these coaches, is uh, you know, that dominant within a fight, finish the fight. That's the only thing, especially like, you know, you're not doing this for, you know, like, for fun. This is your job, and you get paid more, especially when they say you get a finish bonus. So yeah, just try and get that where you can. <laughs> but apart from that, he's got, it was dominant. It was one-way traffic. As soon, soon as this fight hit the mat, it was one-way traffic. And that's it. An extremely tough first test for him because of how dangerous he is, that power he possesses. But we look at just the, uh, the dominant performance that was put on here by Magomed Razul Gassanov.